Here's under the bonnet. Um, I've already put loads of uh, clips up on YouTube and taken the wings off and a few other jobs as well. But we're going to take the wings off for the bulkhead. Brake, brake master and all the bracketry, fuel filter, all the cables that go through the bulkhead, clutch, clutch slave, steering joint. I've already, um, already done replacing that on the steering DVD. Um, we'll unbolt the fuel filter and casing from the bulkhead but leave all the fuel lines connected. Put it over the front, a couple of relays to come off, some brake pipes, the heater over that side and a reasonable amount of wiring actually. So, it's about to be fun and games. So, um, that's it, that's all I can think of really. We've just got to get stuck in. So, uh, we will now go We'll now go underneath before we go to the garage. We'll have a quick look so we uh, know where the bolts are there, and then we'll go from there. Let's get it up in the air. Right, just a quick squint from underneath so uh, we know where we are and what we're doing. The wheels are going to have to come off just to give us some access up there. You've got the big bolt, the main bolt that holds the bulkhead on here. Big long bolt, it's about six inches long on its own. So uh, hopefully that won't be seized. Um, lots of brackets in there. But that's all, uh, that's all coming up, so we'll, uh, let's see it's in the wheel arch. So let's go underneath the car and see what else we've got. So, uh, these are the floor, this is the bulk here, the bottom of it. So we've got plastic, um, plastic fixings that the uh, floor screws go into. So we're going to take them out, take the floor out. And that should give us lots of access there to see all the pipes and wires. Oh yeah, look at that, there's dozens of them. Heat shield. Oh, it's definitely a job. What else we got over this side? Yeah, we've got some more wires up there. But other than that, and the two big bolts are the big one there. Other than that, uh, we don't actually need to get on our hands and knees underneath it to do anything. So uh, we'll take the wheels off when we get to the locker to give us a bit more access to get the um, wings and inner wings off and then the wheels can go back on and they can stay on so you know if you're doing it at home you can roll it in and out in and out of your garage still right okay that's that that's it for the ramp probably make the job easier actually on the floor without having to uh, fall over the ramp it's not that big a job not that type of job right okay now we're going off to the garage and we'll have a We'll, uh, we'll get our gloves on and we'll get started. So, see you in a, see you in a sec.